It's audible? Cool. Yeah. Uh, so I just want to understand uh, if people in this room, you guys have seen the slides already, have you? No? Nobody? So that's the reason you're here? <laughs> so what I want to understand is, I just want to really understand if, if this is at the right level for all of you, because some of you might be doing it already, and some of you might want to know more. So that's one of the reasons why I've always put my PPTs in place, so you guys know what it takes. Uh, so what am I doing in an Agile conference? What am I talking about uh, something which is not even related to Agile and how it's going to be relevant? So any idea? So any thoughts? Uh, do you have any clues? Like, what is that? What do I even mean by it's not an Agile story when I'm going to talk in an Agile life cycle topic? Any idea? No? Nothing? All right, cool. So let's begin with this. Uh, so you guys know these two um, mythology characters. They are from the Greek mythology. They are called the Apollo and Dionysus. Uh, you know what they represent? Anyone? You know what, who Apollo is, who Dionysus is? Anyone? No? All right. So Apollo and Dionysus are the two uh, sons of the, one of the Greek gods who is Zeus. Uh, so they represent uh, logic and emotions. That's what they represent. So which is something which is very common. You know, we all know there are like multiple instances. Like it's not just about Apollo and Dionysus. We have Ying and Yang. We have order and chaos. We have black and red. We have sun and moon. We have day and night and a lot of things. And we also have something which is the items on the right versus the items on the left. So does it ring any bell? Does it sound familiar? Remember the Agile Manifesto? So technically, when we speak of Agile Manifesto, the crux, you know, what are they trying to say? is about something which is very fundamental, which is very fundamental not just for Agile, but for anything and everything in life. You guys agree? Everyone, right? So obviously, so if that is the case, there has to be a reason why even the Agile Manifesto was even written. You know, it should be like something about, something was not happening in the past, and there was a reason, and hence we have an Agile Manifesto, and today we are at an Agile conference after a couple of decades. But unfortunately today, so when I, when I listen to a lot of speakers, when I have this keynote conversations with a lot of other people who are in the conference today, what do we hear now? We just say that people are telling me that Agile is dead. So do you think Agile is dead? Anyone? Yes? So why do you think Agile is dead? So if I'm saying there was a reason why Agile was formed in first place, but today if I'm going to say that Agile is dead, in my mind it means that the reason is dead. Isn't it? Does it make sense? Possibly, one of the ways how we can actually bring back Agile, you know, give some life to Agile is somewhere doing something and trying to restore that balance that we are talking about. What is this balance? Again, the things about right versus the left. So that's all it is. So I, I do believe that uh, even though we have not embraced uh, the balance yet, that is something we all agree, but there is some progress. There is a lot of hope.